Right, so here is an actual real life application. Uh, of the stuff that I had shown previously, this uh, real RAM card thing, which I'm going to turn on now. As you can see, now it waits for a program again. So what I wanted to do was write a single, a, a simple Z80 program that would just play a sound wave on the PCM channel of the Mega Drive and uh, the way I did that was of course just a simple Z80 program that sets the stack sets uh, PCM to enable and constantly writes a sine wave in there so we're going to test that using our cartridge back to the prompt let's click build see Z80 program build CCK program build I'm going to press enter to send it there you go, testing you will hear nothing shit so now you can do live bug fixing so what I'm going to do is go back maybe we're crashing the chip because we're doing too much too fast so we had a couple of drops so the way we do that is of course this is a cool editor by the way copy and I just paste shift and insert paste 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 add a couple of knobs save build no still doesn't work shit what do we do well the way what what we are gonna do now is uh, This is all set up, by the way, so I know what's exactly what's wrong with this. Okay, so, uh, you see, oh, I made a mistake here. This should be decrement, not subtract. So, with a simple change, type build, and what we're going to end up with, listen, a sine wave. Holy shit. So, let's go back. Maybe we don't even need all those knobs, so we delete the knobs, save, go back, build. And here the frequency change in real time. This is this is the way that you should develop stuff because it's simply so uh not frustrating, it simply works and it's in real time so um, that's a win-win I'm gonna turn this off now because be before we all get deaf because this is really loud uh, so yeah here we have this nice little uh, thing that I did using this approach to Genesis, uh, Mega Drive development and I think this is a really great thing so uh, it would be cool if you you know tried it yourself it's not hard to build you don't need any components for the cable and the software is free on the internet and even if you just send over the hello world program that's included that's fine oh, uh, at least you're doing something with it but yeah this is all I wanted to show for now this is uh, me developing stuff using the RAM transfer thing you know and uh, it works great so before I babble on about how great this is, uh, thank you for watching.